Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at the armor pieces of a quadruple hundred stat build. And whoo, it's beautiful. Okay, it's badass. This post made by Easy Headshots. I made a video about this previously. You will find it on the channel. This guy was able to get quadruple hundred stats. Absolutely magnificent, amazing. Shout out to that guy, an absolute legend. And once again, shout out to James for letting me know that this even happened, okay? If you're looking to get quadruple hundred stats, these are the numbers that you are looking for. So pay attention, pay very close attention. I did all the math for you guys, so you don't have to waste your time. And that way you know what armor pieces you wanna keep, what armor pieces you wanna dismantle, and so on. So we're talking about mobility, recovery, intellect, and strength. The combination of these four stats, the number has to be around 60. Okay, and that's per armor piece. It can't be masterwork. You can't have any mods on it, which is crazy. That's really hard to get. That's like the God rolls of, of God rolls, okay? We're talking some next level RNG, but that's how you get it per piece. For example, on this helmet right here, you guys see that this is 12, 33, 17, and 35, but obviously this is masterworked. And he also has a radiant mod over here, which would be plus 20 on the strength and a plus 10 recovery mod. So this item without anything, this helmet, the combination of the four stats would be 59 points. Now, as mentioned, it has to be around 60, okay? Now, also keep in mind that, for example, well, this is the cloak. You know, there's nothing special here. It's a cloak. He has powerful friends on there. And then it's masterwork. Therefore, we get a 32. Then on the sleeves right here, on the gloves, the number is 60. So the combination of the four stats is going to be 60 points, which once again, absolutely insane, right? Then on the chest, it's 61. And on the legs, it's also 61. You have to get very lucky on the distribution of stats that you're looking for in order to be able to get quadruple hundred stats. Also, you have to be on stasis in order to hit these crazy, crazy numbers. As you can see, the two stats that he was not looking for would be resilience and discipline. Those stats have to be at twos because all the distribution of the other stats must be in mobility, recovery, intellect, and strength. Now, the reason for that is mobility and strength are easier to get to 100 because of the mods such as Powerful Friends and Radiant Light, which we used to get from the seasons, from the previous seasons. Now, they are sometimes sold by the NPCs, uh, such as in this case, Ada, right? So you gotta be paying close attention to that, ladies and gents. And on this channel, I always let you guys know if it is being sold. After looking into it, the, the fact is the number, the combination of the number of stats from all the four pieces has to be 240 stats. Guys, before we go on, when I say 240 points combined, I'm talking about the combination of mobility, recovery, intellect, and strength across four armor pieces, which once again will bring us to the fact that per armor, you're looking at around 60 points. And that's obviously without any mods or master working. That is just crazy. So pretty much 60 per piece. Obviously it can be 62 per gloves. And if you want 58 per helmet, but the whole number, the combination of them all has to be around 240, which once again, if you remember the triple hundred stat builds and the double hundred stat build guides that I have made on this channel, links in the description there, the, the number, depending if you're going for double hundreds or triple hundreds, the number of the stats that you're looking for, if you're looking for doubles was around 52. And if you're looking for triples, it's like 55 around that. As long as those three stats that you're looking for, for the triple hundreds is around 55, you should be fine. As long as obviously you have powerful friends and radiant light. But with this one, it's 60, which is way higher. If you're interested in the initial overall level drop of these armor pieces, I have that written down too. For the helmet, it dropped at 63 total. For the gloves, it was 64. For the chest, this one right here dropped at a 66 and the legs were 65. So the chest was the highest of them all. And you can see that right here. Now, granted, just think about this right here. This guy is missing only one resilience, right? To hit tier four. You can see right here, he's at 39 resilience. So 
What could have happened here is this mobility point over here, where he's at 101, that one point could have been into this resilience and he would have been at tier four. Granted, that makes no difference to me. If it was me, I'd be so excited and so happy with this overall setup just because you can see these numbers at hundreds. It's crazy. Look at this. Like all the other three are perfectly on the spot and there are there are 100 right 100 recovery intellect strength and then you have 101 mobility and he's probably looking at it like no this one should have been right here and it would have been tier four but nonetheless this is an amazing thing to see so many hundreds in a pvp build like this if you are going for quadruple 100 stat builds, I would say a few stats obviously are easier to get than others. For example, mobility and strength, thanks to powerful friends and radiant light with the plus 20 free stats are simply the go-to, okay? These stats gotta be in those quadruple 100 stats because it's just so easier to hit the max. And then in this case, recovery and intellect would be the top pick. Obviously recovery for some insane survivability. And we all know how strong intellect is in any kind of end game PVP, trials, competitive, whatever. If you're running low intellect, you're kind of in trouble. It's, it's, it's really not fun, okay? You wanna have at least your seven. And if you do have max intellect, it's only gonna help you out and it's only gonna get you those easier wins at the end of the day. So those stats are the four I personally would go, go for. And if you are a Titan for the Titan, obviously resilience is a better choice because of the class ability. So in total, you can get around 10 points more for the resilience if you just use all the fragments, but at the same time, then you're kind of losing out on recovery, right? So it kind of evens out nonetheless. But what I'm trying to tell you is it's easier to hit resilience with the fragments to max than it is the other stats because for the other stats, you only get plus 10s and for resilience, you have two fragments so you can get a plus 20. So there's that. I myself am working on a build and I'm 11 points off a quadruple 100 stat build. I'm super hyped about that. So stay tuned. As soon as I do get that going, I will make sure to make a video about it and I'll let you guys know because, you know, I love making these stat builds and top tier builds and so on so this right here guys is the numbers that you're looking for anyway that is it for this video crazy fam and i gotta say i was super excited to talk about all of this with you guys and discuss these numbers and stats the fact that stasis made all of this possible and we are talking about quadruple hundred builds is is simply amazing i remember times when having double hundreds was like oh my god that's so cool and here we are looking at quad hundreds and who knows what happens in the future seasons we might get even more insane mods that will make all of this even easier so yeah i'm kind of excited we're gonna have a lot of changes in the upcoming seasons both for pvp and pve so i can't wait for that also i want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the videos and especially on the streams which by the way i stream here on youtube every tuesday thursday and saturday around reset time for destiny 2 and i will be streaming tons of battlefield 2042 when it comes out so i truly hope to see you guys on stream once again thanks for all the love and support i I appreciate every single one of you and as always have a crazy beautiful day.